Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to control Sony A7S III with Sony monitor and control app. So let's just jump into it. So to set up it with the Sony A7S III, let me just show you how you can do that in camera settings first of all. So if you are doing it for the first time with a camera or the camera is not yours, what you need to do is you need to do the network reset. And to do that, you need to go to your menus and scroll down till you see network. In network, you need to scroll down all the way and click on network options. Once you click on that, you need to go down again and go on network reset settings and click on that and then do enter. Once you do that, your camera will turn off and turn on. Now you can go to the settings again and I will go back from here and first of all, I will go on access authentication settings now for me because i work with a lot of cameras i have figured out that we should turn off access authentication settings why because most of the time when you are done with connecting the wi-fi of your camera with your phone and you open the monitor and control app and you see your camera and you click on your camera it will ask you for one more step it will ask you for a qr code to scan from your camera in your phone feel free to turn it off so i will just go in and I will just turn off and do OK. And then I will go back and I will go up till I see connection and remote shooting. So I will click on that and then I will go on smartphone connection. And here, instead of Bluetooth, I will click on Wi Fi. So to do that, I can either click on my screen or I can press my delete button. So I will click on screen and then it will go to wi-fi mode and once it goes it will show me these settings where i can see the ssid which is going to be the name showing on my iphone once i will open my wi-fi settings and then the password so after that after i'm set up with this what i will do is i will go to my phone and i will open my phone and go to wi-fi settings look for this ssid and then i will put this password there and click ok once I join that, I will wait till I see the blue tick. Once I see that, I will go to monitor and control app. And if you are gonna use it for the first time, you will not see this screen straight away. You will have to give it some access. It will ask you for permissions. But for me, I have been using this app for many uh, for a long time. So it's just like this. So once I open it, as I am using it for a long time, it's already on a Wi-Fi. But if you are using it for the first time, it's going to be on the Bluetooth. So you will have to click on this Bluetooth pairing Wi-Fi and it will open some options in front of you. And from there, you can just click on Wi-Fi only. Once you do that, it will automatically detect your camera. There you go. So I have my Sony A7S III and you can see it's in firmware version 4. One more thing which is very important is like if your camera is not in firmware version 4 and it's in 3.01 or 3.02, you will not have some of the features such as playback from your monitor and control app. So you'll not be able to play back and preview the footage. But if you're in firmware 4, you can do that. So in case you want to firmware update your A7S III, I have already done a video. You can click on that and watch it. And then once it's updated, you can just have these uh, features as well. So let me just click on connect. Once I do that, there you go. I have opened my Sony monitor and control app settings and you can see all the things there. Now with the help of monitor and control app, you are not only previewing your video, but you are using your phone or your iPad as a viewfinder to control your camera settings like frame per second, shutter angle, ISO, white balance, uh, checking the exposure, making sure that your things are in focus and everything. So it's a very helpful tool to have as well. And many times you can use your iPhone or your iPad as a wireless monitor, which I do on a lot of shoots as well. And I use it with me whenever I'm filming myself. Why? Because I'm alone filming myself. And in case you want to know what we can really do and achieve in Sony Monitor and Control App, I have done a full in-depth video where I have explained about every single feature of Sony Monitor and Control App. And in case you are having Sony FX3 
और सोनी एफ एक्स थर्टी सोनी एफ एक्स सिक्स सोनी बुरानो सोनी ए सेवन और एनी ऑफ दीज कैमराज आई हैव ऑलरेडी डन वीडियोज एंड आई हैव मेड अ फुल प्ले लिस्ट कॉल्ड सोनी कैमराज विच यू कैन क्लिक ऑन एंड लुक फॉर ऑल दीज वीडियोज नो इन केस यू हैव मोर दैन वन कैमराज एंड यू वॉन कंट्रोल दैम ऑल ऑन द सेम टाइम आई हैव ऑलरेडी डन अ वीडियो अबाउट दैट यू कैन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द लिंक एंड वॉच इट और आई विल पुट दैट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एज वेल I hope this video was helpful for you in case it was please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos like this thank you so much for watching see you in the next one